This video is brought to you by Pitaka. Yup, wireless charging on the iPad is here. In this video, I'll take you on a tour of Pitaka's take on iPad versatility, showcasing their almost entire iPad product line so you can see how it integrates with the tablet to provide the four Ps, as I like to call them. Power, protection, productivity, and poise. Stay tuned to find out how you can win some of the items we'll discuss in this video. Let's start with the basics. In order to incorporate the ecosystem of magnetic Pitaka products, we begin with the Mac Easy Case Pro. The primary suspect here is 11 inch iPad Pro, but what I'll show you applies to the 12.9 inch iPad Pro model as well as the iPad Mini, which we'll get to in a moment. So, you might have seen the standard Mac Easy Case I featured in previous videos. Made from aramid fiber, it's ultra thin and it works seamlessly with the Magic Keyboard and the iPad Pencil. In fact, you can see it in action in my home studio desk setup tour from last time, which I'll link at the end of this video. With the Pro version of the case, Pitaka is stepping things up a notch, introducing wireless charging in the form of a similar case that comes with an ultra-thin USB-C cable that plugs directly into the bottom USB-C port of the tablet. Looking at the back of both cases, you can see the proprietary pins in the center of the Mac Easy Case Pro that communicate and push power to the iPad once it's placed on the wireless charging pad, which I'll show you in a second. At a glance, both cases are equally space-saving and thin, adding little to no bulk to the tablet itself. You can easily cradle the iPad into the Magic Keyboard and snap the pencil into place to charge it. By the way, if you end up enjoying this video, subscribe because... Why not? So in order to take advantage of a wireless charging, you can use the included puck and snap it to the back of the tablet and, for example, leave it overnight or keep using it as intended, a tablet. Although charging with a puck is exciting as using MagSafe on the iPhone, the most convenient way to use the iPad is on the Mac Easy charging stand. Once the tablet snaps into place, it immediately starts juicing up. The magnets are crazy strong, ensuring absolute stability to the entire contraption. There are three main benefits of this stand aside from providing power. The first benefit is elevation. I often like to come back to the basics and treat myself to a minimal and clean setup that features nothing but the tablet, a keyboard and maybe a mouse. To me this is the most inspiring way to write and with the stand things couldn't be better. The display is at eye level reducing any neck strain of having to look down. Second, the stand provides 360 degrees rotation so I can instantly switch from portrait to landscape mode just like that. This clean execution would not be possible without wireless charging. Keep that in mind. In alternative solutions, you'd have to rotate the tablet and deal with a cable or have a much more complex rotation mechanism altogether. Here we have a slim and elegant stand, a thin profile and just one power cable running from the base of the stand to the power outlet. Using the stand in meetings is great. Because you know how on the iPad Pro the cameras are on the side, which makes you look weird whenever you're participating in a meeting. Well, with this stand, all you have to do is just rotate it. And now the camera is right where it should be. Next, the stand can also charge an additional device at the base, whether that's an iPhone, Android device or AirPods. As with everything else from Pitaka, you can expect an extremely high level of precision, craftsmanship and of course, next level magnet use. Since the stand can come apart for storage purposes, you have a magnetically attached Allen key to unscrew the two screws on the bottom and disassemble the stand. The same level of wireless charging satisfaction can be achieved with the iPad Mini 6, where the case itself is more robust on purpose. Since the iPad Mini 6 is intended to be used much more on the go, there are embedded airbags around all corners, saving the Mini from daily drops and wear and tear. To ensure the pencil stays in place, if you were to walk around with the Mini as is, a pen clip can hold it in place. The clip can be optionally installed or kept to the side if you prefer to have a more simple look and just snap the pencil into place. As with the iPad Pro, wireless charging works on both the stand and the puck, which 
which for this little guy will be the more practical use case, I think. Especially when we talk about professionals who move a lot and just want to leave the iPad 6 momentarily to top it up. There are two things to point out here. First, you lose the USB-C port with the iPad mini if you decide to hook it up to a dongle, for example. You'd have to remove the case to free up the port. Not a big deal if you ask me, because the mini's applications are very different from the Pro tablet, which can be hooked up in a desk setup, for example. For that reason, Pitaka has designed the Pro case so that you can open up the USB-C flap when needed. Now, let's talk about cases. Suppose you prefer to keep things simple, staying away from keyboards altogether. In that case, Pun intended, the Mac Easy Folio 2 is the perfect alternative to the OEM Apple Smart Folio version. For starters, the Folio 2 is cheaper than the Apple's choice while providing more versatility. Let's start with the magnetic attachment. The strong magnets spread out across the surface of the case, making sure it always stays in place case or no case. Plus, they hold up the flap whenever you want it out of the way. Second, there's the Folio's hidden magnetic pencil strap, which protects your pencil when it's charging and discreetly folds away when not needed. Last but definitely not least, the origami style folding front cover gives you not two, but four different viewing angles, three landscape options for watching videos, drawing or browsing, and a portrait mode that's great for reading. As you can expect, the Folio 2 works with both Mac Easy cases, giving you the option to quickly detach it and snap the iPad on the charging stand. If you're like me and often move around with just the iPad, the flipbook case might be your perfect add-on to the Magic Keyboard. It comes in black or white to complement both models of the Magic Keyboard, and it's effortless to install. With a flipbook case, you add the convenience of adding additional protection and an easy way to snap close the iPad and take it on the go. The handles are very comfortable and don't stay in your way when you open the iPad and work. Additionally, a slim zip pocket expands to hold things like your wallet or mouse. Personally, I prefer the white combo which looks incredibly stylish. So for those of you who rock the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, Pitaka was kind enough to hook me up with a pair of flipbook and Mac Easy Pro cases, which I'll be giving away. If you want to get a chance to win them, all you have to do is leave a comment below and share your favorite iPad Pro accessory from the list. If you enjoyed this video, then you should definitely check out my favorite iPad Pro accessories video here. Like and subscribe to the channel as well as my newsletter. And as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is Z, over and out.